In order to take advantage of accessing the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, it is possible through a Chrome-based browser such as Google Chrome or Microsoft's new Edge browser that's based off of Chromium to install what are known as extensions to access these tools. If you try to access these tools without the extension, you'll get this problem loading virtual manipulative error likely as a result. And so what we're going to do is walk through the steps that you can use to install an extension. Extensions typically reside in your Chrome browser in a portion of the screen uh, where extensions are listed. If they're in view, you can actually hide them, you can make them visible, or you can actually collapse them by just dragging the address bar in most applications, most browsers that have Chromium. So with that, uh, we're going to search the Chrome Web Store. So when you want to go search these three words on the internet and then locate the uh, appropriate uh, web extensions. It should look more like this. The Chrome Web Store is where you can go. And you want to search the store or use the link that I've provided. Cheer P J uh, sufficient. There's an applet that will look like this. Uh, this is the one that you're wanting to add to your Chrome browser. And so when you do that, uh, clicking on that will give you the option of installing uh, such an, a browser extension, uh, giving you access to Java-based websites such as the NLVM. And uh, what this does is it then places the uh, extensions, which I just realized you weren't seeing in that video, but these extensions right here uh, that you can move about, you can extend and uh, bring them into full view. Uh, for purposes of use. So the one that was just added has this icon right here. It's somewhat grayed out. And now that we go back to the website that we have, uh, you want to make sure that when you're at the website, this is a crucial step, when you're actually at the site where this manipulative is housed, I recommend going to the extension, try to locate it if necessary, you know, change the width of your address bar to locate the extension that we're interested in. And when you click on it just one time, it's important to ensure that it's running the applets capability for this website. So as you go to different websites, you may run into this. And so you want to run the applets and then check that it's allowing it to run the data on that particular website. So you're going to allow that. Uh, once it's done, it's it's there for the rest of uh, duration now that it's, it's gonna run. And so when you choose one of these manipulatives now, it'll actually open up and you'll notice the CheerPJ extension is taking hold to navigate the Java aspects of this uh, virtual manipulative. So this will work in Google Chrome and other Chromium-based web browsers. It does take a little while to load, so I, I recommend a bit of patience, uh, but once it loads, it seems to be quicker uh, the next time around. And so now the manipulative is fully operational, really good for you to possibly demonstrate you know, the various things that you're trying to accomplish with your students. Uh, so, very good. Hopefully that gives you some idea of how to take advantage of accessing the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives using a Chrome browser or a Chromium-based browser like Opera, I think, is another one, uh, in Internet Edge from Microsoft. I do want to make one cautionary note. Um, this does not work on iPad. Uh, you cannot install extensions like these on iPad browsers. And so that's a limitation. It does appear, it is seemingly working on Chromebooks though, and Macs and PCs that have these browsers that are built on the Chromium-based um, uh, browser system. All right, thank you.